Welcome to Hidden Habitat Land Management, the channel where we discuss habitat techniques and hunting tips for the small property owner. A lot of people talk about food plot trails, but how do you actually know when to use them? So in my opinion, um, anytime that you're going to, you know, you have trails that are existing that you want to plant, it's always good to pick ones that you're not going to use for access. So in this property, um, there, there's a, a really large existing trail system. And in some of those sections, um, especially areas where uh, you're going to have stands closer or if they're leading to certain areas, that, you know, food plot trails might actually improve upon, you know, the existing usage there. So here you can see every everywhere in green is, is food. And there's a, a larger like destination type food plot a little to the east here. Um, and, you know, these trails, they, they sort of lead um, in and out of the bedding or around the bedding and lead to this destination plot. And since he's not going to be accessing except for, you know, to this stand down here just to the south, he's not going to be walking these trails during the season. So that's a good time to go ahead and plant them, especially if you can get enough sunlight in there to grow something. And so anywhere where it can lead from one habitat improvement to another, whether it's food, whether it's bedding, um, sometimes even in between or around, if you can, if you can use those to add a little bit of tonnage and attraction to your property, those are great places in my opinion to add some food. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get more content about how to improve the hunting on your property.